For episode two of this Blender Beginners interior course, I'm going to be taking you guys through how I model and texture a floor. So I'm going to be taking you through a few different options. One option is completely free. Um, another option is I'm going to be using a plugin that is um, just a huge time saver and the quality is really, really good. So let's jump into it. Also, if you're new to my channel, my name's Oliver. Check out my work at Oliver Higgins Architecture on Instagram if you want to see what kind of um, work I do as a professional. Um, I'm a designer by trade, but I got really interested in rendering. Started using Blender and it's been really good. Cool, so this is where we left off from last week. If you guys haven't seen that episode, I suggest you check it out. Um, but what we're going to be doing to start off is adding a texture to this floor. Um, but there are a few things that we need to do before we actually get to that stage. Um, and if you're an absolute beginner, um, a UV map is essentially what um, allows you to see the texture, um, to be able to see the material on the geometry. So if you can imagine a chocolate Santa Claus, you know, those, um, the wrappers, not the actual wrapper, but... Um, the actual, you know, like with Santa, Santa Claus, Christmas time, to be able to actually see the Santa Claus texture on the chocolate, if you unwrap it, it's going to look really funky. But when you actually wrap it up, it looks correct. And it's the same process as what we do when we add a material to like a box or something. We first need to make it look a little bit funky and, and then when it actually applies to the geometry it looks correct so if that sounds confusing it's okay it took me a while to get used to it what we're going to be doing is with this floor that we created i'm going to be first applying all transformations and you can do that by pressing Control a and then going all transforms and then what we're going to do is we're going to press tab. We're going to select everything by pressing A. We're going to right click. And we're going to go mark seam. Now this is what pretty much um, tells Blender where we're going to cut um, each piece to then apply the material on. Um, I'm not doing a great job at um, explaining this. But um, I'm sure there's going to be a heap of uh, kind of tutorials on, on, on this topic on YouTube that you can have a look at if, if you're really interested. But I'm going to tell you how to do whatever you need to do, okay? So don't worry about that. So with all the faces selected, we're going to go right click. Actually, we need to be on face mode, uh, face select. So click on that on the top left. You're going to press A to select everything. You're going to go UV unwrap faces and we're going to go unwrap. Cool. And so you can tab out of that. And another plugin along with um, what we got, uh, I think we got Pure Ref uh, on the last episode. Another plugin that you guys need to download, which is free, is called Texel Density Checker. So once you've downloaded that and installed it, um, you can install your plugins by going up to Edit, Preferences, um, Add-ons, and then you can come up here to Install, and then you can go and um, install that and apply it. So you should have that down here, Texel Density. Because we're working with 4K textures, we're going to go up here into 512, and we're going to go up to 4096. And then um, we're going to go down here where it says set my TD and we're going to press 20.48 and then we're going to go set my TD and you don't need to understand what any of that means really to, to be honest um, as long as you just do that where what we're essentially doing is just setting the correct scale for the texture so that if you've got like wood flooring or something it's not going to be super tiny um, so we're just making sure that um, everything is the correct size so there's a few different options that we can do when it comes to the flooring. Um, you can go on to um, Polyhaven, you can download it, um, some free materials. Um, and what you typically get out of that is you'll get a albedo or a color and that will look like this. You'll get a normal map, which is probably going to be blue. 
and then you'll get maybe a displacement um, or a roughness map. So what we're going to do is we're going to just quickly create a material. So um, if you come over here to the shader editor, so um, you should you should already have that kind of set up if you're working with a new file. Uh, if but if you don't see it you just come across here and you go shader editor and then you want to just make sure that it's an object we're going to go over here we're going to click new and we're going to name this wood flooring cool and then you'll see the principal bsdf this is pretty much just a um, a type of shader that you can do a lot of things with i'm not going to explain all the nitty-gritty just what you guys need to know um, so what we're going to do is we're going to drag our textures in. So we're going to start with the color. We're going to go into the um, the reflection, which is like roughness, and then normal. So those are like your three standard textures. You might have more. You might have like a displacement texture. Um, so we're going to plug our color. See that yellow, um, I guess, circle. We're going to color. Uh, we're going to put that into base color. And then our reflective map is going to go into the roughness. And then it's important that any color space apart from the, your albedo, uh, apart from your base color, is going to be on non-color or linear. I think it's... Um, yeah, I think it should be non-color. And then the normal needs to plug into a normal node so if you go shift a this menu will pop up so in the search bar you're just going to type in normal and then click on normal map and then this little node will come up so what we need to do is we need to chuck the color into the color and then the normal into the normal okay and the last step is to go into the color space down here and we're going to just go non-color so that's a basic material setup if you come up and into, into viewport shading up the top left at the top right you can kind of see what that material looks like but to be able to see it properly what we want to do is we want to actually set up our lighting initially so come over to the object tab and we're going to change that to world and then what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag that yellow dot out and let go and we're going to type in environment and press enter everything should go purple what we're going to do is we're going to download an hdri from polyhaven so find one that you like download it and then you're just going to click on open and then we're going to go find that hdri i'm just going to find a random one and then open that up and then you should have pretty good lighting just to start out this isn't going to be on lighting but um yeah and we're not in cycles mode either this is just um ev which is real time but we'll get to the actual realistic rendering uh, at later episodes so this is one way that we can do wood flooring like really really easily um and i find it's okay like it's not bad it's pretty good you know you um can't really really complain that's kind of the standard way that you can do wood flooring if you want to isolate something you go backslash in and out so you can you can kind of isolate the wood flooring what you will notice though is there's repetition and that's something that is a limitation with um, just using standard textures if you have a, a wide enough surface you're going to see that texture repeating and there are various ways that you can get around that um, I have been using a plugin. Well, it's not really a plugin; it's an asset, um, and it's a wood flooring generator. Um, and you can use it on all sorts of different things. There'll be a link in the description if you want to check that out. Um, it's an affiliate link. I get kind of a little bit out of it just to help with paying for camera equipment and mics and everything like that. Um, but this is a pl um, asset that I use a lot. Um, you can kind of set it up. To go to your asset browser so to set it up initially um, you go to edit preferences you go down to where is it asset browser 
yeah so you go down to file paths and then you just click on that plus and then you go find the floor generator um, and then if you come down here again so we may have been in the shader editor you come across to the asset browser what we can do is we can find the floor generator um, and pretty much what we can do is to start out with the good thing about this asset is that it will actually create 3d geometry so with this texture with kind of the standard method you do get kind of that effect of being 3d but it is actually still a surface and it's okay like it, it works but if you want that next level of um, I guess visualization where you actually see all those tiny little cracks and details um, then you want to maybe look at using um, a professional tool so what we're going to be doing is for this asset um, the floor generator we're just going to drag in floor standard um, and we're going to drag that onto the plane and then all we need to do is resize this um, this plane that it creates and the beautiful thing about this is that it there's no UV mapping that you need to do you just create a plane you chuck it in you resize it to whatever you need and then we're just going to going to go and delete this floor underneath um, actually what we might do is we might keep that as the underlay um, and yeah so what you can see is all this beautiful geometry that um, just automatically gets generated um, and it just looks really good let's jump into the um, 3d uh, camera view and then we're just going to jump into getting um, into cycles so if you come across to render engine we're going to change that to cycles um, and then let's change the CPU to GPU and then um, let's just see what happens so let's come up here to the top right where it says viewport shading let's click that um, it should take a little while but what we're going to see shortly is um, the wood flooring material we haven't added a material to anything else yet but we're just going to see what that wood flooring material looks like and we're just going to have a little play around with um, a few different options cool so that's looking pretty interesting so far obviously um, everything's white except for the flooring what we're going to do is we're just going to get out of that camera view we're going to have a bit of a zoom around with the uh, middle mouse button uh, let's just get denoising on um, on the on the viewport so in these render options we're going to come down to sampling we're going to click denoise and then um, let's change the denoiser to optics if you have an N nvidia card um, and let's just let's just kind of zoom up here a little bit let's get an idea on what we're working with so this is the standard um, I guess texture that will just come up when you drag the asset in um, but let's just have a play around with the other kind of standard um, textures so let's try oak all you need to do is just drag it on which is like really easy um, oak looks interesting let's try this one here this is the hickory floor you know it's got more of that farm style but I do want something that's a little bit more um, muted I do like this one a lot the blonde oak um, and obviously if you're not using this if you're just using kind of a standard texture you'll just download a different texture um, but the beauty about this asset is that there's quite a few in here that are really really solid to be honest um, but I but I actually really like this one this is quite quite simple quite elegant not too contrasty so it's nice for a little bit more of a um, a calm kind of environment so let's go back by pressing zero and we're just having a look to see what that looks like in the 3d camera view and as you can see it's it's coming together quite nicely um, I quite like how there's literally no tiling um, it's pretty amazing how this asset works it's, it just takes takes care of that and if you're using a normal texture you might see a little bit of tiling but there's always ways to get around that you know you might chuck some furniture in to break to break that space up um, and yeah so that's a 
that's where we're going to finish for this episode um, and then in the next episode we're going to be getting into more materiality we're going to be working on the wall material the ceiling material and um, all of the timber timber structure so um, we're really starting to flesh this scene out and uh, if you guys want to see more of my work you can have a look at it on Oliver Higgins Architecture on Instagram and then also on my YouTube channel have a look at some of my behind the scenes of those renders that I've put on my Instagram. Um, if you want to just peer behind the curtain and see what's possible with, uh, with Blender. So I'm really excited to see you guys next week um, and stay tuned for then. Cheers.